Okay. Today I'm going to do a uh, close-up review on uh, the Dragonfly series uh, that is manufactured by Cold Steel. Uh, you know, Cold Steel has uh, been making we edged weapons um, for many years now, and um, you know they've uh, become uh, very uh, well known around the world for the quality of the weapons that they produce. So. Uh, you know, a while back I bought some uh, Dragonfly um, blades. Uh, I bought the uh, Dragonfly uh, Tanto, and uh, then I uh, liked it so much that I ended up buying the Wakazashi. And, uh, you know, I did a review on that um, series, and, um, you know, I've got had a good response with these uh, sword reviews, so what I'm going to do is another close-up review that I'm going to actually give you guys a more close-up picture of what these blades look like uh, in case you're considering going out and buying one. Now uh, when I buy these, uh, bought these uh, Dragon, Dragonfly uh, blades here, I want you to know that I was very happy with these and uh, the quality that uh, these blades uh, possess are really uh, something to be uh, glad to have. I mean, they're really good, they're well made, they're sharp, and these things will cut like nobody's business. So uh, I'm going to get the camera, and I'm going to uh, start the review, and let's, uh, let's get a good close look at uh, what you will actually receive um, when you purchase one of these, uh, the, the thing, one of the things that I really like is you get this really nice uh, metallic uh, bag with the uh, tassels. Uh, fantastic. Uh, and it's got cold steel and uh, some, uh, I guess that's Japanese writing or here. And uh, then you have a blue bag that you put the blade in it which slides into the uh, metallic bag so that's one thing that you're going to get right off the bat when you buy a dragonfly series blade you're going to get a very nice protective bag set and um, you know you get the warrior series you just get the blue bag so dragonfly you get that fancy metallic gold uh, uh, case to, to keep it in and that's uh, really a top-notch deal so let's get the camera and uh, let's get a close-up look at these uh, dragonfly blades okay so uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, let you guys see this uh, uh, the tanto um, we get down here on this blade, um, it has the uh, iris uh, leaf design um, of the blade and uh, it has a very sharp um, angle uh, on the blade uh, more so than your average uh, type of uh, sword blade. Uh, it has a uh, short fuller here groove. Uh, you have one wide and uh, one uh, narrow uh, groove and uh, let me tell you that is really nice. Um, you can see the beveling on the blade here and uh, you know it is very uh, aerodynamic. Uh, the Habaki has the uh, brushed uh, effect to it, wire brushed and uh, you know the uh, the suba is uh, somewhat ornate. Uh, I kind of like the uh, the suba on the warrior series a little bit more than I like the dragonfly series, but I like the uh, size and the uh, the shape of the dragonfly series. Um, you know, it's it's got the uh, dragonflies on the uh, the fuchi and the uh, Kashira, and um, you know it's it's not really super fancy, but it's really nice. Um, 
the handle is wrapped in a uh, silk cord. Um, the ray skin is uh, painted black. It has uh, dragonfly uh, manuki and uh, you know it's uh, the handle on it is uh, really uh, comfortable fits in your hand uh, quite quite nicely I mean it's very comfortable the uh, the saya of these uh, particular series has a uh, silk uh, wrap and uh, you know it's got a, a little bit of uh, some uh, gold um, ornamentation to it. It has a um, gloss finish and uh, on the end of the uh, saya there's no metal cap. It's just uh, flat wood and uh, it's, it's really nice. I, I like that particular style of um, saya like that without the cap. And uh, you know you go to the wakazashi and uh, it is basically uh, the same as the uh, the Tonto, but uh, you know the handle's a little longer and uh, the blade's longer. And uh, one of the things that I like about this uh, particular uh, Dragonfly Wakazashi is the uh, blade's longer than the typical Wakazashi. And uh, you know it has a uh, uh, very uh, angled cutting blade on it too. Uh, and uh, you know if you let's look at the tip here the Kasaki if you look down on that you can see how that uh, tip has been shaped you know it's kind of a teardrop and uh, because of this angling uh, of this uh, particular blade it makes it very aerodynamic and uh, you know the Kasaki on these uh, particular uh, Dragonfly series are uh, they're really nice. They're designed to really cut. Th these uh, Dragonfly blades uh, to me are uh, superior for cutting in all ways. Um, so you know uh, if you want a really nice sword set to be decorative yet be very effective as far as uh, uh, the application as far as a weapon uh, the Dragonfly series is going to be uh, really hard to beat. So um, you know I thought I'd do a video on this and let you guys have a, uh, a closer look at uh, exactly what these swords look like and uh, you know, hopefully it'll help you be able to decide if you want to go out and buy one. So uh, I'll be doing some other uh, close-up reviews on um, some more weapons coming up. Uh, I will be doing one on uh, Cold Steel's Nodachi. And uh, I will be doing uh, another sword review on the uh, on another katana that I have, uh, the uh, Ruman. So uh, kind of look for those videos and um, I'll give you a little more information on them. I'll see you on my next video.